we can uh, graphically represent the displacement velocity and acceleration of simple harmonic oscillation and simply we know y equals to a sin omega t plus delta equals to the equation for displacement of simple harmonic oscillation so if delta equals to 0 this simply y equals to a sin omega t and velocity is the differentiation of y with respect to t that is dy dt equals to a omega cos omega t and acceleration equals to d2y dt2 equals to minus a omega square sin omega t so we can plot the displacement y displacement velocity and acceleration with time so y gets to a sin omega t so y has a maximum value a so and at t gets to 0 uh, y gets to 0 so this comes from 0 and go like a sine sine curve so this implies the graph for displacement y with respect to time t now we want to plot velocity with respect to time velocity equals to a omega cos omega t so at omega equals to t equals to 0 cos omega cos equals to 1 so at time 0 velocity equals to a omega and goes like a cos graph so this is the initial point and value is a omega and goes to 0 when and displacement is displacement is maximum then, then velocity should be minimum that is 0 because this is y gets to a sin omega t and v gets to a cos omega t so this is the opposite and when the displacement is 0 then the velocity goes to maximum value that is a omega again when displacement comes to maximum then velocity goes to 0 so this is the graph for velocity now we are going to plot acceleration with respect to time acceleration is to minus a omega square sin omega t so its maximum value is minus or only just taking value is a omega square and at t equals to 0 acceleration is to 0 so it comes also from origin and the maximum value gives minus a omega square and it is in phase with the displacement y so this peak gives the value minus a omega square this also gives the value a omega square 